Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd. It is Monday, so it's Napalm A to Z. However, we're in the B's, right? You know, A, B, we're not very far into the alphabet, but we're getting there. However, today we're gonna step outside of the just standard letters. We're gonna jump over to the letter M because today we're gonna do something that I was afraid to do for years. In fact, I've been avoiding this band since 1993. Today that all comes to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, Mushroom Head is going to be on this channel. It's time for reaction. Hey everybody, check us out on OldSchoolNerd.com. It's got all the social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel, and the merchandise store, Liliac and Ginger. We're less than 30 days away. But, let's get into this. Napalm A to Z. Yes, don't worry, the B bands are coming back next week, but today we have two bands outside of our list of A through Z. We're going to jump to M, get M knocked out, Mushroom Head is here. Now, in 1993, a band called Mushroom Head came on the scene. They were from Ohio. And I, 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 was, I was in the army at the time and uh, in college. And everybody was talking about them. And Mushroom Head kind of had this whole Slipknot thing before Slipknot was Slipknot. Now, when I say Slipknot thing, I mean the theatrics, the outfits, the masks, the, the imagery. Not not the musical style. They were they were metal, but they took that theatrics to a part where a lot of people in the U.S. weren't ready for it. They were doing stuff before Marilyn Manson was doing it, and they were doing it really well. But I never really got into them because I think I kind of just got away from the imagery stuff and thought, "Wow, man, that's just it's all imagery." Apparently, I'm really really wrong. So during my live stream yesterday, I saw my first Mushroom Head video. I saw half of it, blew my mind, completely overwhelmed me, and said, you know what? I was completely wrong. This, this band's telling stories. Dark stories, dark, some dark stuff, some stuff you'd normally see on creepy Netflix specials, but no, they're, they're telling stories. So we're going to do the song Carry On. It's a video. It's uh, pulled up by Napalm Records, so we can definitely do it on Napalm A to Z. I'm so excited because I really wanted to check this out. This is a band that I've been kind of avoiding, I guess for the worst reasons, and it's time to come around and check them out. Yeah. 19 years later, here we go. 19 years after I knew who they were, I'm doing a reaction to Mushroom Head. Sorry it took me so long to come around. My name is Old School Nerd. Here's the song, Carry On. I hear the whistle of the wind and the sins of innocence. Well, a bit reminiscent, present in the dissidents. Evidence for malevolence and elegant resemblance. Temperamental, lacrimal, chemical imbalances. Battle damage, challenges, saddle by this package. And when it's time to manage this, then everybody vanishes. I'm standing up to walk it off. Talk it out or talk it up. I'm a double, 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 Okay, this stuff is beautiful on another level. Musically, the thing about it is when these guys came out in 1993 and all through the 90s, the stuff that Mushroom Head was doing was shocking to a lot of people. But nowadays, this level of storytelling with the imagery and, and, the, and the darkness, ever since Ghost came out and Marilyn Manson and bands like that, 
Rob Zombie. I think of those three bands as they progressed, they introduced people to, you know, I'm telling a story. I'm going to use very dark imagery. And now it's just part of storytelling. So as, as Mushroom Head has been one of the first ones to really push that narrative. Now, when we think about this, we all got to look back at Alice Cooper. And you have to look back at Kiss. But when you think about Alice Cooper and Kiss, you're thinking about the original where they took the visual and made that just as big of their persona as the music itself. If you've ever been to an Alice Cooper concert in the 80s or 90s, you can be sure that you were going to be shocked by the end. That was his, it was shock rock in a way. But as we went from the 80s into the 90s and Marilyn Manson comes out and, right? And you have bands like, and then Mushroom Head comes out. And there were a lot of people that were like, whoa, I wasn't ready for this. And so they kind of, those of us who were getting away from metal at the time, they're just like, it's just another crazy band doing crazy stuff. Now that I've come back and introduced myself back to metal, I'm like, man, I missed out on a lot of really cool stuff. And because this dark storytelling imagery is now not only accepted, but sought after now, they're perfectly positioned. Also, in this video, you can't tell me the lead singer of Mushroom Head doesn't look like Thanos, right? Like a dark Thanos. Um, also, if you see some of their other videos and you see him without a mask on, how much does he look like Till from Rammstein? Like a lot. They look like they could be brothers. They're not, but it looks like they could be. It's, it's beautiful. It's dark, but it's beautiful. It's not the fastest, it's not the heaviest, but it is beautifully done. The vocals, the harmonies, her voice, the, this whole experience is a cosplayer, costume designer, prop person, creator's wet dream, right? Her costuming is perfect. The look is dark, but gorgeous. The masks these guys are using are top notch. And if it'd be one thing, if they were just a visual gimmick, that would be fine. But you're listening to not only the lead singer's spoken word, which has you going like, is he Thanos? Is he Till from Rammstein? I can't tell, but it's deep. It's personal. He's speaking. You can feel it in your chest. And then the harmonies between the female lead and, and the male harmonizing, it is gorgeously done. It's dark. But it's perfectly done. It's beautiful. I don't know if this band ever thought that they would make beautiful music like this back in 1993. But we're 20 years later. And they're putting some stuff that makes me just want to go. I need everyone to watch this to show everyone how to make a beautiful song. Okay. Beautiful costuming. And you're telling a haunting tale all at the same time. This is blowing me away. I know for some people, this isn't going to blow them away as much. But remember, I remember when this band came out. And I remember everybody going, whoa, Mushroom Head. Who's Mushroom Head? Oh, they're Guar. But now. Remember, Guar, Alice Cooper, Kiss, 
They were all the theatrical bands. It was more theatrics than music. Well, except Alice Cooper. He was the shit. But but they were just coming out. And I was like, oh, it's just Gwar. They're just wearing masks. Now it's like, hey, these are some of the forefathers and foremother um, of what so many people are doing now that everyone loves. This stuff is great. It's awesome. And I'm so excited they're on Napalm because I was like, oh, they're on Napalm. Which means I could do it on Monday. <sighs> Happy boy. Wow, 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 wow. Holy crap. Okay. If you're like me and you've never seen anything from Mushroom Head, the first thing you're thinking back is, holy crap, I've got 20 years of music to go back and look at now. Because that's what I'm thinking. And they've been doing this stuff for 20 years. Now, there's a lot of you that are going to be in the comments and they're going to be like, how could this be the first time you've seen Mushroom Head? How could this be the first time to da 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 Remember, for 20 years, I wasn't into metal music. I went to classic rock, folk music, blues, jazz, funk. Went into kind of an experimental phase. So I missed out on 20 years of metal. That's the whole idea of this channel. And because one of you said, got to check out Mushroom Head. I did during the live stream. Thank you. I keep telling all of you that... All of you are the reason why this channel exists, because without all of you, I wouldn't know what to react to. I might start reacting to more Kesha shit. No. But, Mushroom Head, Napalm A to Z. And hey, if you appreciated this, a like. Yeah, put a like, and uh, as always to all of you, Muchas fucking gracias. <sighs> can't believe I missed out on all this amazing stuff. Hey, I can do it now. Thank you.